last year, something happened that caused me to have pain that was different from anything else I ever felt. It was excruciating pain. They'd ask me on a scale of one to 10, and I was always between nine and 10. I was developing a dependency on the pain meds, and I just wanted the pain to stop. That's when I went back to see Dr. Elowitz, the doctor who performed the spine surgery, and he referred me to Dr. Meta and the pain management group. In 2011, Mr. Tosto had surgery and did very well for many years. However, in 2016, he started to have a recurrence of, of back and leg pain. Unfortunately, surgery was not an option at this time because there was no certainty that it would, it would lead to success. So he underwent uh, interventional treatments for, for him, including epidural steroid injections, and unfortunately only had short-term relief with that. I was out of solutions. There was nothing left for me to do. At that point, Dr. Mader referred me to Dr. Kaplan, who is a leader in spinal stimulator implantation. One of the nice things about treating pain now, as difficult as it can be, is we have an enormous number of tools available that we did not have even at the start of my career. For the case of pain that has not been terribly responsive to traditional therapies, we can perform what's called spinal stimulation, where we put a little electrode on the surface of the spinal cord that sends electrical pulses into the spinal cord, and the patient will feel the stimulation in the affected part of the body. And for many patients, that takes away the pain. Some patients like the sensation of the traditional device, and it makes them better. Some don't like the sensation. For those, there is the new device, this so-called high-frequency device, that sends electrical pulses at a much higher rate than traditional spinal stimulation. It is pulsing so quickly that you can't feel anything from it. What it does is it actually blocks the pain signals from getting to the brain rather than sending a new signal to confuse the brain. Dr. Kaplan and I were very fortunate that we were the first to use high frequency stimulation in New York City. We have a history of several hundred cases now and have had a very good success rate for our cases. Another nice thing about this type of procedure is that Dr. Meda and his colleagues in pain management can do a test in advance of the permanent implant to see with a temporary implant whether or not the patient has a good response to the stimulation. The trial period was what really impressed me. To my delight, it worked. It actually worked. And at that point, I said to Dr. Kaplan that I want to go for the permanent implantation. The pain had, had decreased by 75 to 80 percent. I'm able to pick up and hold my new one-year-old granddaughter. I'm able to walk down the street without having to take a cane with me everywhere. My life is back where it should be and I am eternally grateful to these guys.